Welcome back to DETV. Okay, we're going to the fourth drawing in chapter two. Sensor mount, I'm looking. It is all in inches. Uh, if you look at the book, it says all drawings are in inches and the less otherwise stated. This one's in inches. You can see the 1.5, 4 and a quarter, 2 and a quarter, 0.75. So we're going to pull up AutoCAD. We need to know that it is in inches because our setup. So inches and feet, we're going to select. AutoCAD comes up. I'm going to turn on my grid. I'm going to bring this here. I'm going to go to units. Make sure it says inches. I'm going to go to two decimal points because that's the most any of these go. Push OK. Limits. I am going to select this as my origin, so I need about 5 by 10. So 0, comma, 0, and then 5, comma, 10. Those are going to be my drawing limits. Let's say I'm going, and by the way, so if I do zoom now and push extents, my origin should jump down to the corner. Boom. So now I'm going to... Go right here. I'm going to choose a rectangle. I'm going to say 0, comma 0, which is the origin. And then if I look here, I need it 4 over and then 1 and a half up. So I need 4, comma 1.5. Okay, I have my square. Let's bring this over here. I have my square. I am now going to get some reference lines so I can get these circles. And so I'm going to go here, right to the origin, and I'm going to go one in this direction. I'm going to go 0.75 up. I'm going to go two over this way. The reason I'm going two over this way is because I just want one over 0.75 up and then one plus one, two. So now I have, I know the circles are here and here. I need a center diameter of one for right here. And then remember space, we'll do another circle, but it's in radius, so you need to change it to diameter and then say one, you got your two circles. I select another line. I am going to pick midpoint on my object snap toolbar. I'm going to come down here, go up, uh, 5.5 that will be the center of my circle I just drew this 5.5 circle from the middle that is going to be the center of these two arcs you notice arcs again I'm gonna harp on this arcs are radius so that's why these are radius so I need a circle radius center radius go here I need 1.5 I need another circle radius of 0.75. Now, this is where it gets a little tricky. We, to make these side arcs, we see three and a half and four and a quarter. We're going to focus on this outer one. The problem with this is people are starting their arc from 3.5 from here and 3.5 from here and if you look it actually goes down a little bit the problem is trying to find this spot so again let me open up this is a common mistake you're seeing green is correct and white is not so you're seeing this arc start right at the quadrant when it should have started further down now how do we get that further down. Well, we know that it is three and a half from this point, right on the corner. And the way we can figure out it, where it is, is what we do is a center radius circle. We snap to there. We do 3.5. Now, 
the center of this arc is somewhere along this circle because it's equidistant from this point. Now, we do not want to go from the quadrant. We want to go from not where these two intersect. It looks like that, but it's not where these two intersect. It is somewhere along this line and we, we don't know where. So we don't know where this point is, but what we do know is where this point is. And this point is a given. And so if you took the 1.5, that's the distance from here to here, plus the 3.5, which is continuing down that line, you would have 5. So I'm going to make a 5. Now when I do that, wherever they cross over here should be the center of my circle. So let's see. I do 5. The way we're going to test this is to create a 3.5 arc from where those two cross. And if you look, it does. It, it just comes through right lower than the quadrant. So what we need to do then is get rid of this 5 circle, get rid of this 3 circle, get rid of this line, this line, and this line. And we just need to trim this up. Look at that. Doesn't that look beautiful? Alright, now we need this line. We know it's two and a quarter up, so I'm just going to start at the origin, go 2.25, and then cut across. Now, the center of this arc is the same as the four and a quarter, so we can just go to center radius, come out, select center, and then type in 4.25. The beauty is, look at it hits that arc. And, of course, that line, right? So what we need is this circle, this line, and this. Trim it up. We want to get rid of that part. And this part. Yeah, that's gorgeous. We are going to now select these two. And I remember last time I showed you mirror, even though they don't have it on there. You want to select the center here, come straight down, hit enter. Do you want to erase the source object? No, you don't. You want to keep these over on this side. And then we just need to trim everything up. Put in here, and here, and here, and here and here, and here. We just want to delete these. And you have your sensor mount. Don't forget to save it as sensor first and last name. Cool.